very happy, privileged, excited, fired up. What other words can I can I describe this moment, on, bro? Because I have the honor to introduce actually my daughter, my physical daughter, Come on. and my spiritual sister in Christ. Come on! And I mean, I imagine all, all the fathers out there, mothers out there, how 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 happy they will be if they have to really introduce their their, their child. To something, I mean, but for me, is to introduce the child for because she's going to share what the cross means for her. Come on, Daniel. Uh, yeah. You know, most of you know me. I mean, my name is Aldrin. They call us the uh, uh, the Rocking Rojas. Yeah. So, we, <laughs> I'm right now give you my daughter, Daniela Rojas. Come on. Come on. Hello, my name is Daniela, I'm 16 years old and I was recently baptized in March. Um, so today I'm going to talk about what the cross means to me. And I've, I was really struggling with this, like to see what the cross means to me, but then I've been praying a lot about it and for me the cross means the truth. And the reason why I say that is, is because I've been struggling these past few weeks with uh, accepting that I am no longer in Curacao to be able to graduate with my friends. And I'm seeing like all my friends are graduating, they're going to be celebrating it, and I'm not going to be there. And I won't be graduating this year either, so I won't be getting the thing I worked so hard for, and I was feeling so sad about it because it, it was really hurting. But then I realized I moved here and then got baptized. Mm -hmm. What is the point to still be in Curacao and have a diploma and if I don't know the actual truth? Wow! <laughs> So that's why I chose to, like, I know that the cross means the truth for me. Because um, I grew up in the family where both parents were disciples. And I always thought that, like, I was good. That I was okay. Because I know what I have to do, but I wasn't doing it. So I would tell people, hey, do this, this, this. This is what the Bible says. But my life wasn't reflecting the Bible. So I really see that, like, when I read Matthew 15 where Jesus called them hypocrites because they were just worshipping him with mouth but not by heart wow. and it, it, it struck me because that's the truth that's like what I was doing I was being a hypocrite I wasn't worshipping doing what I had to do my life wasn't reflecting the Bible it was just by words and I didn't mean it but once I got to know the truth I got to know the actual love that Jesus has for us as well and that's why I can say that I am very proud and happy to be a disciple and not have a diploma because the truth is better. And come on, then. So that's why I would say the cross means the truth, the love of Jesus. For us. Before, before we, we go to pray, I want to share the scripture. Is um, John. 360, you know, all, you all know about this scripture. It says, For God loved the world that gave his own, the one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Let's pray. Father God, uh, thank you again for this moment, Father. Thank you um, for your love you showed through Jesus Christ, Father. That he decided to give his life for uh, the whole world to have eternal life, Father. And Father, he's the, uh, um, his love for us is so, so big that we really can understand it. Father. But by seeing the cross, by seeing him laying the cross, and he took all our sins at the cross, then we can understand that what is really true, true, um, true love means. Mm -hmm. So Father, bless this moment when we take the, the uh, um, communion for us. We take the bread that represents Jesus' body and the wine that represents represent the blood he shed and, and, the, uh, and seal the covenant between us and you, God. So thank you for this moment, Father. Bless the mo this moment. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.